Hey there, treasure hunters. Well, I'd like to welcome you to the first installment of From Trash to Treasure, where I take things that I find either in a dumpster or in a trash can or someone's throwing it away or it's broken, busted and ugly, and I'm gonna take these items and I'm going to make them really cute. And I feel like there's really not many things out there that can't be fixed. Um, even this little jewelry box. So I'm looking at it, I'm seeing that it's, you know, the wood is good. The mirror isn't broken, which is awesome. And everything looks, um, I mean, it looks really cute. It looks good. I mean, the condition that it's in right now is not cute. Actually, it looks pretty bad. You can see. It looks like there was some, it looks like there was some lining in there. This one's pretty terrible. <laughs> so I can see why they threw it away, but after I'm done with it, you won't even recognize it. Let's turn this jewelry box into the treasure it was meant to be. Okay, these are the items we're gonna need for this project. Our handy dandy glue gun. We're gonna need some little foam inserts, a little screwdriver, Phillips head, a little paintbrush, a small piece of black fabric. I actually cut up one of Melanie's shirts to get this. Yes, she gave me permission. Um, some cute paper, whatever, whatever you like. It's completely your taste and your style. I got some Mod Podge for gluing and some metallic spray paint. Okay, the first step for this project is to get all of the little pulleys off. Anything metal, anything that the little magnets here. I got all my metal brackets off, all the screws, all the little handles and pulleys. So I'm down to the bare wood. So before we can clean the wood and get it all nice and ready to be painted, I want to take anywhere I see the red velvet liner, I want to take those out. But the cool thing about these is you take them out and Voila, you have a template for your new liner, so don't throw these away. Let's go ahead and get all this velvet out of these.
Okay, so this one right here is completely covered in glue and foam. So before I can start painting, I gotta get this cleaned up. Cause this right here does not look cute. So let's get it clean. Pretty amazing, right? Okay, next step is to repair any damages that were done. So this one's little door came off. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. It's as easy as hot glue. I'm just gonna go around the edges, stick it on and let it dry. alcohol right here. I'm just going to wipe the wood down really good, get all the grease and fingerprints off of it so that it'll be a nice base to put our paint on. are clean and ready to go. It looks great. There was one thing that I noticed as I was cleaning it. There is, oops, wrong side. There's a tiny little chip right there. Okay, like no big deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this to Chris's um, sander and just make it real flat, because this is the top of the jewelry box. We want it to look really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, sand the top of it just real lightly and we're gonna start the spray painting. And that's right. what it looks like. I gave it a little sanding. Just made sure it was nice and smooth, no scratches. Rounded that off. Okay, and now, guys, if you're trying to redo a jewelry box and you have a mirror in it, do not try to take the mirror out. Um, I've broken a couple mirrors trying to take it out thinking that it would just pop right out, but some of them don't, they're glued down. Just tape it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this tape on the mirror to protect it while it's being spray painted and we're good to go. Okay, we're all ready to paint. I'll show you what I'm gonna spray it with and why I'm gonna spray it with this. This is Premium Metallic um, Sterling Silver by Krylon. So it is going to be a um, like grayish silver jewelry box, but the reason that I'm using this is just to prove a point. People throw things in the trash that are perfectly fine. I've already tried this. It sprays fine. It looks great. Yes, I found this in the dumpster at Michael's. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take my dumpster jewelry box and spray it with my dumpster spray paint. Let's do this, guys. I'm kind of excited. So while the paint is drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my templates that I'm going to use to put um, inside of the drawers and inside of the place where the jewelry box actually opens up. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take these and I'm going to trace them to the back of this paper, cut them out, and they'll be ready for when the paint dries. All the pieces are cut. All the pieces for the doors, the pieces for the sides, all the drawers done. pieces of foam and these I actually got out of an Easter egg decorating kit there's little pieces of foam in there and I needed foam so I didn't have to buy them but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the little piece of foam and the little black piece of material just cut to the basically the right size doesn't have to be perfect and I want to wrap the material around the foam so that it's like a little tube like that. This is going to end up being a ring holder for the jewelry box. I need five of them, um, so I'm going to get to wrapping. Cover them in material. I'm about to show you what I'm going to do with them. Let's go get the pieces of the jewelry box. Alright, so let's put these drawers together and see how they look. I'm going to take the pieces that I cut and I'm going to be using Mod Podge. Got a little brush here and I'm just going to try to paint it on like a it's a good glue for getting paper to stick to wood paint it on the back stick it in the drawer and let it dry
I want to show you guys what we're going to be doing with these material tubes. Just take your drawer and you just put them in. They should fit pretty snug. Line them up. And voila! You have a cute place. Put your rings. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue these down with the handy dandy glue gun and uh, move on to the next door. So um, Chris made this. It's a little, it's a little box. It's a little bandsaw box that he made, and I just got like the greatest idea to add this to the jewelry box, and it's just going to be absolute cuteness overload. Okay, so I sprayed it silver to match the little jewelry box. And now I'm going to add cuteness. Isn't that adorable? That'd be so cute for like, I don't know, little trinkets and stuff. So I'm going to add the finishing touch, which, which is the uh, 
just like the drawers were made with the little side paper. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Okay, so all the pieces are done. All the separate pieces are finished. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the hardware, hardware back on, put the drawer knobs back on, put it all back together, and show you guys the finished product. Are you ready for the big reveal? You ready guys? Look at that. Isn't she pretty? I absolutely love the way this jewelry box turned out. I'm so proud of it. So let's show you what I did here. We lift the top. There's that mirror. I love the way it turned out. I love the way the cross turned out. Very proud of this one. What do you think? Here we have a little inside. I added two hooks, little drawer so that you can put your stuff in there. Other side. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Cute. All right, now check these drawers out. I love these. This was the little black tubes. I'll actually pull one out. Right? I think that turned out so cute. If I had a bunch of jewelry, I'd totally keep this jewelry box, but Holly does not wear jewelry, so. <laughs> and then we got, oh, I actually put just a little piece of film in there so the dust wouldn't get on the drawers because I am trying to sell it. Last drawer is the same. And this, I just love this. I love this little jewelry box. Chris made this out of, um, he made a little cedar heart. And I was like, you know what? I am so stealing that. And it matches. So whoever buys this jewelry box is going to like, just have total cuteness galore. And it actually, the heart, the cute thing about it is it fits right in the drawer. Well, tell me what you guys think. I'll add a link um, to the eBay store where the jewelry box is going to be sold. And I'll put up before and after pictures right now.